like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel with notifications on, and tell me below what your favorite lightsaber is if you would like to win a Force FX lightsaber of your own choosing. After the release of The Last Jedi, many fans have formulated theories that Jedi Grandmaster Luke Skywalker did not in fact perish due to the overexertion of what occurred with him and his nephew Kylo Ren on the planet of Crete. Many fans have suggested that Luke actually did not die, and that he simply used a new force ability to teleport somewhere else after aiding the resistance through projection form. Even Mark Hamill himself stated that his theory is that Luke Skywalker is not in fact dead, and that he is somewhere out there waiting. I refuse to believe he's gone. My theory is he just teleported to somewhere else and left his robe behind. After saying this, many fans held out hope that Luke Skywalker very well could be alive, and that this is simply a a new force ability that we've never seen before. In search of concrete answers, however, I found that the novel for The Last Jedi paints a pretty clear indicator as to what exactly happens to Luke, and what he was feeling in those final moments of the film. Here, it finally explains what happened to Luke Skywalker. On Ahch 2, the suns were setting, bathing the peak of the mountain housing the Jedi Temple in luminous orange. On the edge, overlooking the sea, Luke Skywalker floated a few centimeters above the stone. Pebbles hovered around him, his eyes were closed, and his legs crossed. His face was strained, and beneath his gray beard, the tendons of his neck stood out. Tears streamed down his face as he poured his strength, his very essence, into the Force. Behind him, the peak shuddered, shedding dust and chunks of debris. Luke opened his eyes and fell onto the ledge, the pebbles plunking down around him. He lay on his back, his breathing ragged with exhaustion. The twin suns had touched the horizon and were sinking into the ocean. Around him, the island was wild and alive, a riot of currents and ripples in the force. Its energies were fed by the birds and insects of the air, the fish and scuttling creatures beneath the waves, and the grass and the moss that clung to the ground. All were generators of the force, yet none were its containers. Its energy escaped the fragile, temporary boundaries of their bodies and spread until it surrounded and permeated everything. Luke heard the wail of the wind and the cries of the birds. He heard his own faltering breath as he struggled to get up, and the rhythmic thumping of his heart in his chest. And he heard a familiar voice. Maybe it was real, or perhaps it was just in his memory. Let go, Luke. He did, and his body faded away, leaving the ledge empty. In the spot where he had been, the force rippled and shivered. But a moment later, this disturbance was lost amid countless other currents of an autumn evening on the island. And the force continued as it always had, luminous and vast and eternal. So pretty clearly, based off of the novelization, Luke Skywalker did indeed meet his end as he joined with the Force at the end of The Last Jedi, as the novel makes it clear that Luke did in fact die in his final moments on the island. Also to point out is that Luke heard a voice before he passed, which could be several people, with Obi-Wan being the most likely candidate. They said very plainly to Luke, let go. Just as his own Jedi Masters did Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda, Luke Skywalker joined with the Force in the end of The Last Jedi. So there is the answer. Luke Skywalker did in fact die in The Last Jedi physically, but he will absolutely be in Episode 9 as a Force ghost, and I cannot wait to see what happens between him and Kylo Ren specifically. The last line, see you around kid, means so much to the future of the Star Wars universe and what will happen with Kylo Ren. By this line alone, clearly Luke will meet with his nephew in Episode 9. But leave your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and this little piece from the novelization of The Last Jedi that does in fact confirm that Luke Skywalker died at the end of the film. I've asked you guys this before, but I want to reopen the question. What do you think would have been best for the ending of Episode 8, and should Luke Skywalker really have died in the end of the film? I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. If you're a fan of what we try to do here at Stupendous Wave, consider donating to our Patreon. What this does is directly helps us to improve the quality and frequency of our content. The link to donate will be in the description below. Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway. May the force be with you and have a great day.